Hello, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Jeffrey. In this new video, we will discuss some of the most important aspects of your life. Continue to believe that you are blessed and deserving. Recognize that the more power you have, the better you will feel. I wanted to, to just connect with all of you and let you know that a community, you know, our, our community, our advanced community, as one community is a, is a group of people that share the same principles and share the same ideas. And, and if you're part of this community, it means on some level that uh, you believe that um, the way you think and the way you feel uh, has some effect on your life. And, and communities are built on the exchange of ideas. And the exchange of ideas is really how we communicate. The other thing is the agreement on those ideas. If we share the same understanding of possibility, if we share the same understanding of quantum physics and, and the scientific model of how mind affects the nature of reality, then we'd have to understand mind and its intricacies and the neuroscience of neuroplasticity and, and, and how your mind affects your body. And is there electromagnetism that is the result of thoughts and feelings? And, and, and uh, can we change our gene expression? And all of these different idealisms uh, tend to create a bond or create uh, a community. Uh, but one of the other things that's so important that I find really valuable, when we learn something new, we see possibilities we didn't see before. And so many people uh, in uh, this, this community, uh, your community, are asking really good questions. How do I heal my body? How do I produce elevated emotions? Um, they ask for help and recommendations on what book to read, where should they start, um, what meditations to get, how do I become abundant? And the fact that you're asking how is really important uh, because information, knowledge, understanding, philosophy, theory is the first step to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. But when you make the effort, really make the effort to get started and initiate what you've learned into practical, into a practical experience, um, now you're putting the rubber to the road and those questions should come up because the how means you want to understand better what you're doing and why you're doing it. So then our scientific model of understanding helps people to understand what they're doing and why. Our community of people from uh, its uniqueness is that we're doers. We're, we are interested in creating new experiences. Now, whether that experience is healing yourself or, or staying awake during your meditation, uh, <laughs> uh, if you're asking questions on... Um, epigenetics or how do I produce elevated emotions, it means on some level you are making an effort to advance the understanding through experience. So doing it then causes you to start asking more profound questions and that those questions uh, we have done our best in the books, um, in uh, YouTube, uh, in uh, some of the courses that we created, and all of the different ways to give you information to keep you inspired. And when you become inspired, you see a possibility uh, that you haven't seen before, and that possibility causes your body to feel energy. And you're, you're tapping into an energy or an emotion of the future. And so... Let's talk about some of the practical applications because I do want to inspire you that, that people in this work are healing their bodies. Uh, they are creating abundance. Uh, they are creating new lives, new relationships. They are having mystical moments that transcend language. But they all started at a certain point of understanding. And it was the practice that caused them to get better at it. And so we have a formula that we have been studying through all the research that we have been doing yeah, and that formula has everything to do with operating your brain at the most efficient level to create a certain level of coherence in your brain a certain level of holism and order and that 
coherent brain allows you to hold a thought, a dream or a concept, without other circuits in your brain distracting you from that vision. And it is a frontal lobe activity. And, and we see in so many different people that we measure, if they practice it, just like practicing anything, they'll get better at it. But having an intention is sterile without energy. In other words, when you select a new possibility in the quantum field, you're seeing something that you could create. And when you see it, if you're waiting for an experience to happen so you can feel the emotion of the event, for the most part, you're living in lack or separation. We now know then if you can create coherence in your heart, that heart produces a magnetic field that literally causes you to expand your energy. And the more coherent the heart is, the more you can lay the thought of your future on that energy. When you can combine a clear intention with an elevated emotion, you are changing your energy. And the practice of doing this is the important point. Because so many people ask to heal. They want to understand why they're not healing. And for the most part, they haven't learned the formula to heal. They want to create more abundance in their life, but they haven't practiced the formula to create a change or more coherent energy. And the people who begin to do this properly, something magical happens. Their brain begins to change, their gene expression begins to change, their immune system gets stronger, they start having synchronicities in their lives, and it's those synchronicities in their lives that are telling them that what they're doing inside of them is producing feedback in their outer environment to let them know that on some level those coincidences and opportunities is the quantum field or universal mind organizing events equal to their energy. And people in this work that understand that when they get angry and frustrated and impatient, they've lost their connection to their future and they're back to the energy of their past. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. We all learn these lessons as we move along. But being able to change it in those moments when you don't want to, justified or valid or not, some circumstance in your life causes you to feel and think certain ways, causes us to be more victimized by our environment. And we're teaching people then how to create better lives, not just do the meditations and then go unconscious for the rest of their day, but to stay conscious and to stay in the energy of their future. Now, people come to this work for all kinds of reasons. Some people do want their abundance. Some people want a new relationship. Some people want a new career. But really what they want more than anything else is wholeness. What they want is to feel more joy, more love, more freedom. And we teach people how to do that. So not everybody in this work heals. Uh, this is a process of discovery. But in the last couple of years, we have seen so many incredible miracles, so many transformations. And we have the evidence, not only in science and the things we're measuring, and all the wonderful new opportunities that are coming out of this work with other uh, scientific universities and communities that are interested in studying us, but also our testimony, our students. They are the living example of what's possible. And that means then, if other people can do it, you can do it as well. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for all of your love and support over the years. We appreciate all of the positivity and stories you've shared. Please share this video if you like it and let us know what you think.